What's going on, you nerds? We're back in another episode of Neverwinter Night server hopping. We're doing two new servers. We're back to NW Sync servers. We're doing World of Tor and uh, Dark Sun demo server. Uh, World of Tor, we got a website here, a propiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffiffi
uh, the total balance between these should be less than or equal to zero for acceptable weight to book odds. You can pick the trades for free here, but later it'll cost you 10% or it goes to choose them again. Wait, what? Oh, so you can get what traits after. So you don't really have to pick them now, but it's free. If you don't pick your traits, it's not a cost will be have, and thus, or it is thus completely optional to choose traits for a character. Okay. So what kind of traits are there? We got Renaissance Man, Chemical Tolerance, Disguise Artist, Graceful, Focused Combatant, uh, Berserker, Healer's Touch, Finery Caretaker, Ritualistic Communion, Blood Mage, Protective, Animal Affinity, uh, Powerful Throw, Cheerful, that's already 15. Oh wow, so there's 30 so far. Oh wait, how far does this go? Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, 67. There's 67 traits. Goodness gracious. That is a lot. Okay, should we just take a quick look at what some of this? What's Renaissance Man? Plus two to all skills and secondary skills. Okay, that makes sense why that's so high. Uh, focus combatant. Opposite Berserker. Plus two concentration, plus one discipline, and will saves. When you rest, you gain one eighth of your concentration, up to uh, a cap of one fourth of your base attack bonus as a bonus to dis. Oh wow. Sheesh. Animal affinity. Uh, animal empathy, ride, and plus one armor versus animal beasts and magical beasts. Okay. Oh, wait. Animals turn neutral towards you, but you cannot gain XP from killing them. Oh! Guys, I might take that. I am a druid. I guess we can try, what, look at the, the minuses or the zeros here. Day person. Fighter of the night person. Oh, it is night, per <laughs> night person. Uh, fatigue increases more slowly and plus one all saves during the day. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, what is solitary mage? You gotta be a wizard or sorcerer. Someone familiar ability is disabled. Oh! Whoa! Oh, blackouts. What's blackouts? Your mind occasionally blanks out and you forget what you were doing. You are stunned and blinded for one round, then dazed for two more rounds. Area map is cleared and you lose 50 XP per level. Only recently gained XP can be lost. Oh, okay. What is that? Blackout? That is nuts. Oh, look at this guy. V Valar Margulis. Isn't this from Game of Thrones? Why does that sound familiar? Minus 10 points. Do not choose this trait if you are not prepared to permanently lose your character. They say all men must die with this trait. Your death is permanent. Hardcore, mo uh, hardcore mode. Under no circumstances can other players resurrect your character. Nor will DMs ever do so. Even if the death was caused by light crusher mode. This enables the option to... Oh, wow. Valar Margulis. Yeah, isn't that the... Uh, what's what's the name? Uh, the, the faceless men or something? Isn't that, isn't that like a, the phrase for it? Or am I thinking of something completely different? Okay, I think we'll just take uh, animal affinity. And I guess, do we have to do, do we have to even it out? We have to have a zero? You can have up to 15 traits. The point balance must be kept at or below zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I guess we'll just do a negative one. Peace loving? Minus 10% XP from combat, plus one. Oh, that's kind of nice. I mean, I don't think the XP I'm that, you know, I don't, I, I don't care much because I'm not going to be here for long anyways. So I, I, I'll just choose this. That, that way it, e it evens it out. I think we're good. Select your deity. Let's just choose a random deity, I guess. Uh, I guess we'll do a neutral deity because we're neutral. Uh, none of these names sound familiar, so I don't think this is like in the Forgotten Realms. In, in like Faerun. This is probably its own world, I think. Uh, so I, well, I, well, I'm true neutral, so... It's either Visarius or Sag Sagistra. Sagistra. I'll do Viserius. That that sounds a more pronounceable name to me. Oh, it's your descriptions. Uh, it's a timeless spirit of the land who is believed to have brought all the deities in Tor to existence by forging their essence in a massive volcano. Okay. Actually, that doesn't sound like what I would want. Oh, deity of nature. Okay. All living things share a common purpose in life and pursuits of nature's cause. Okay, yeah, yes. Uh, man, now I gotta choose the deity that I have no idea how to pronounce. Alright, I'm gonna kneel before S Sagistra. Sagistra. And offer my servitude. Cool. Can you give me some clothes, Sagistra? Please? I got nothing. All I have is a bread. Oh, it's a coin. It's a gold coins. Planar boatman. How's it going? Overpowering, no description. Transport you to the world of Tor when you're ready. Would you like a description of the world of features? Uh, I guess we'll take a quick. I'm not going to read through all this. I don't need to read like the behind the scenes stuff. New players, most important things related to character progression. XP requirements have adjusted. Uh, we've got secondary skills here. Wow, there's a lot of secondary skills. Alchemy, armor craft, faith, item craft, leadership, mining, ritual, ritual craft, siege craft, survival, 
and uh, weapon craft. I'm surprised there's no Minecraft. Where's my, how come mining is not called Minecraft? You got ritual craft, armor craft, siege craft. Put Minecraft. Uh, your journey will begin in a relatively safe coastside keep of Seas Watch. It's a good place to learn some of the basics to develop your character. Once you reach the city of Tor to the east, the world will open up a lot more than such type of secret friendship. But okay, 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 so we just have to go east from where we're where we spawn in. Can I start as an exile? Oh, this option is not recommended for new players. Begin in the kingdom of Doomsha, and may otherwise only enter the mercenary city of Kalmur. In all other kingdoms, they will be killed on sight. Oh snap! Okay, no, I don't want that. Sounds a lot worse than I expected. Okay, let's go. Yep, I'm good. Here we go. Seas watch. Don't believe me, Seas watch. Did it, did it, did it. Don't believe me, Seas watch. Okay, so we gotta go east from here. I guess we can just take a, you know, a quick walk around here. Seas watch. We gotta welcome her. I heard you had a rough trip. Glad you made it here in one piece. The waters around Tor aren't exactly pleasant. You don't seem to be from around here. I can ask what brings you to the island of Tor. Just want to start new? I prefer not to tell. I'm true neutral. I'm gonna be neutral. Fair enough, whatever the reason, you will find that there are plenty of opportunities. Uh, you can become successful in any path you wish to pursue. Skilled and devoted craftsman, okay. Alright. Head over to the merchant tent next to these docks if you're looking for some arms and armor. You should also visit the keep when you can and talk to the warden of the seas. Uh, okay, so there's a tent. Okay, we got a tent here, alright. Um, uh, general advice. Take your time exploring the surroundings. Don't rush ahead into combat before you've settled in a bit and prepared. Uh, God, we're not gonna listen to that part. But I'm, I'm, we're gonna run in. I, I just, I just want to see what's around this town, and then we're gonna go exploring. Try to always carry some food in a bedroll with you, as you'll have to eat and sleep every once in a while. Additionally, there are some tasks you can complete for a decent reward. You can harvest simple uh, resources such as oak and silver berries to gain experience. Uh, once you make progress, you can cautiously start heading out further into the wilderness or the kingdoms. You can visit the trainers in Taurus Trade Skill Academy to learn, or to start learning crafting. Oh, okay, so you gotta learn, you gotta learn at the academy. Uh, you can purchase your own house or shop. Alright, okay, thanks. Okay, this is a real setup. This is a true role-playing server, got me set up right from the start. We got traits at the beginning, we rarely see traits. What's this, Silverberry Bush? This is for XP, right? Is this really a bush? This is a tiny bush. Alright, alchemy near success. Roll 51, skill minus 19, yeesh. Plus 3, difference 50, 85, gain 2 experience, acquired silverberry, found 1 silverberry, okay. Oh, I got a whole bunch of stuff all of a sudden. Okay, so we got a, a guild journal, player's handbook. It's kind of cool that they have PC book in there. I don't think we have to really read this, uh, let's just see what's in here. Uh, secondary skills, crafts, reset your skills. Character menu. Oh, companion menu. Which companion would you like to manage? You will have the choice of persisting, uh, yeah, persisting or recalling your uh, companion. Persisting companion will save the state of the companion and remove them from the game world. When you recall them, you will get them back in the exact same state. Oh wait. Oh wow. Uh, army menu. Army. Army or slaves? What? What is going on here? Five hundred gold. That's not too bad. Let me let me just uh, see what I can get. Okay, just bought a uh, iron banded mail. Got an iron sickle. They they all have like a material, like oak light bow, iron club, uh, iron dagger, iron tip bolts, and then even this uh, armor has got like damage immunity, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Guys, I already like this. I already like this. Okay, lang oh language tool. Oh, choose a uh, known language. You talk in a language by typing text in language. I don't know. I might be stupid, guys. I don't know how this works. I, I seems like I'm doing it right. I'm just doing the dash and then I'm, I'm typing something. So I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. But it does not work for me. Uh, we got a fishing spot here. There, there was a fishing rod for sale in the general store. Didn't do any damage, but it, it said it gave like plus four skill bonus on fishing. Let's head on in here. We got some friendly guards. Oh, I got XP. Exploration XP keep courtyard. Nice, okay. I like the shields. These are some nice shields. These are like Viking shields. Uh, sea Watch Keep, Seafarer's Fountain. I guess we'll do the keep. There's not much here, so let's go in the keep. Alright, nice decoration here. We just got a carpet, got some benches, got some exploration XP. I like the exploration XP. That's nice. 
What's in here? Tome of Otherworldly Knowledge. Is, is that the same thing as the beginning? Probably is. A nice looking door. It's kind of a nice door. It's a nice low res door. Warden of the Seas. Yeah, here you are. I had to talk to you. The Warden of the Seas is the leader of the Seas Watch. And she's impossible. And she's got the uh, the feathered hat. Hail and well met, sir. I'm a busy. I'm a bit busy, so if it's not urgent, I uh, kindly ask you to talk to some of the guards or seek out information from the library instead. If you need help or answers, any work. Many of our men upon the seas, uh, upon the seas, and the rest guarding the keep. We could indeed use all the help we can get. Recently, there were some unexplained leaks in the our, our oil supply in the cellars. It was very important to us. Okay, investigate the cause of these oil leaks. Take care of it all possible. Secondly, you would be going down there anyways. I want you to get some of that oil and refuel the beacons accessible from the outer wall. Cool. Okay. So, something about beacons and oil. How do we get to there? like the bottom? The cellar. Warden's office is there. Library. Outer wall. Oh, there are keep cellars. Oh, oh, I didn't even see that. Wow. I guess they, I got... They got blocked by the, uh... Like the wall here. Okay, yeah, it makes more sense. That seemed like a new tile set to me. Because I don't remember seeing those stairs that, that go down. Okay, should I, uh, I guess, equip myself? There's probably rats down here. Did, did they say what it was? It was just a leak? Probably rats chewing it. Oh no, it's a maggot. It's a Nirdv Nirdv maggot. Sounds like a, like a Russian. The maggots of the Nirdv Nirdv flies are known to eat through, the, uh, through wood and damage buildings. Oh wow. Oh, it even looks like a maggot. Oh man. And there's kind of a lot of them. I don't know how this is going to go. Oh wow, it's like, oh, is that a one hit kill? That was. Eight damage. Oh wow, okay. 18 XP. That's pretty good. Man, I don't, I've never seen this model before. These maggot models. Oh, this is light, uh, Iron Light Hammer 2. It's version 2. Oh, it's a cocoon. Uh oh. Something hatches out of the cocoon. Oh no. Oh no, it's challenging. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh man, I shouldn't have been so close. These large, vicious flies are usually drawn to warmth or light and are known for their seemingly insatiable appetite for both humanoid and animal flesh. They are mostly found near coastlines and lakes. Oh, I got them all. Oh wow. Did I get hit? Oh, I absorbed the damage. Nice. I think all the armors have that uh, damage immunity, which is kind of nice. Oil barrel. Okay, here we go. Take some. Oh, I leveled up already. Wow. Okay. That was quick. Healing kit pour. There's a pour healing kit? The amount healed is 1d4 per point in heal. There's a 1 in heal skill chance of fumbling your attempt causing damage to your. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Bolt of cloth. What is this? Oh, it's crafting stuff. And a silver ingot. Okay. Oh, bone club. Oh. Damage bonus, negative energy damage. One in vampiric regeneration. Stone block. Commonly used as building material, but are also useful for some crafts. Activate to stack with similar items. It's like a Minecraft block. I told you to put Minecraft in there instead of mining. They got a friggin' stone block here. Okay, I guess uh, we'll go outside and then fill up the uh, fuel intakes or whatever. Let's quickly do that. One out of seven. Oh, wow. They even got the effects, too. Okay, there's two. I guess this goes all the way around. Alright. Easy enough. Oh no. Oh, 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 nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can't get me. What up, nerds? This is uh, me from the future. My uh, mic got disconnected during the recording, so I'm just filling in a little bit of time. Uh, we uh, returned after putting the oil in the uh, fuel intake, whatever. It was part of the quest. So uh, we got uh, 60 gold here. And uh, 150 experience. We actually got two levels. I, I think I leveled at the uh, bottom floor. And then I think after I finished that other the fuel intake thing. Where you gotta like walk on the walls. I think that gave me another level. I got prestige and tour by two totaling three. 200 XP alchemist fire. I got some of that stuff. Um, that was pretty much that quest. Uh, then we kind of walked out. We were about to go to the city of Tor. We bumped into this guy. He was like a hunter. He had a quest to like kill some animals and get their teeth because he wanted like a necklace made out of teeth uh, but since I'm a druid I don't think I ended up uh, doing this quest I think I took it anyways just because you know, I'm just taking quests who cares 
Then on our way to the city of Tor, I think we kept going east from that hunter guy. We met some of these gibberlings. No idea what they are, but uh, they started chasing me. Then I saw these animals. I, I remember I had animal affinity, that like trait, that makes animals uh, like friendly towards you or neutral. So I was just testing it out. Both of them were hostile, then it turned friendly. Then some guards were shooting up these gibberlings. So at least the animal affinity works. I, I like that. Now that's a cool uh, that's a cool trait if you're like a Druid or Ranger. Uh, we got into the city. This is the uh, administration building in the uh, Tor City. You can see it in the uh, uh, bottom right box. Uh, this is like a, a big map, I guess. They had like tiles that were showing, I guess, all the different areas. I couldn't find the Sea Watch place though. I don't know why. Then this guy has like a, a forearm shield. I thought that was cool. I was just following him for a bit. Then we moved on to the uh, inn. And uh, this is where my mic came back. So here's me in the past again. Not a super decorated uh, interior here. Oh, it's kind of nice. It's pretty nice for an inn. Uh, Sentry, Jack Haven, the bartender. How's it going, man? You got anything useful to say? Uh, rumors? Uh, if any of these sound interesting, I'll tell you the whole story. Do you know the counselor Waldo Fendry was honest? What does that mean? Oh, a girl in the countryside lost her dog when it ran, uh, ran into the woods? The girl's name is Josephine. She lives here in the city with her wealthy parents, but she often takes her dog out in the countryside to play. Apparently, it ran off the other day and didn't come back. She's been out in the countryside near the woods calling for him uh, since yesterday. Yeah, I'll take it. Sure. I am a druid, so that might be uh, good for me. Going out to the woods. Oh, we got a caravan master here, too. Let me just see what you got. What's your destinations? Uh, I'm the caravan master. I want to travel somewhere. Uh, Berry, Berry Muck, Uric, Abritus, Mogar, Cal Calmore, Hollandale. Oh yeah, some of these names sound familiar. Calmore sounds familiar. Okay, I guess we could try one of those areas if, uh, if we have enough gold and not have enough time. But l let's just see what's around this starting area first. Small cave. Oh, it's, well, it's probably the small cave. It's gotta be the small cave. That's definitely where the little girl went. I'm betting all my money on it. Oh wait, who is that? Was that a guard? Who is this? Oh, that Josephine. Oh, oh wow. How's it going? This girl is crying out at the uh, crying out a name to the woods. She seems. Uh, it seems she's lost her dog. You must be Josephine. My dog is missing. His name is Thurman. He ran off into the woods and hasn't come back. Uh, yeah, I'll be happy. Sure. He should be in the woods, but he might have gone in a cave or into a cave that's in there. He'll follow you if you know his name. Okay. See ya. It'd be cool if you had to actually like type his name. Like, what's his name? Thurman. If you had to actually like say Thurman to to call him, that'd be kind of cool. Fendhorn. The elusive Fendhorn is a rarely seen white deer. They have magical abilities, and their hides are highly valu uh, highly valued for this reasoning. He's also got regeneration. Should I try to add him a bit, Theo? Fendhorn. He's got forty HP. Fendhorn. Hey, you you wanna help me out? Yeah, let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this dog. Uh, I guess we'll just go straight to the end. Oh, black bear. Uh, wait, are, are, is it gonna work? Oh, he's cast. Oh, just casted a spell. Fendhorn, you got tricks up your sleeve. He's not attacking us. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, he, oh, he's definitely here. Oh, grizzly bear. Oh no. I, he's not hostile though. Uh, but this guy is. Oh, we're good. Yeah, yeah, guys. Oh, he's impossible too. Oh my goodness. There was no way we were going to win that fight. Okay, yeah, let's just take some of this stuff here. A stone ring. Okay. And a magic bottle. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this corner. Or I guess this section. It's not really a corner. Oh, Thurman. Oh, my God. You were here this entire time? Jeez, Thurman. The dog looks at you with a tilted head and a wagging tail, but seems unsure if you can be trusted. You're Thurman. The dog follows you. I mean, I could have animal empathy him. All right, Uma, let's head on out. Got your dog back. I guess she can't see it until I actually talk to her. Uh, yeah, no problem. All right, head on home. Uh, Thurman. What? Thur Thurman? Oh, Thur Ch Thurman thought I was his new owner. I don't know, guys. This is uh, this is some pretty good stuff. I like this. I might give this like a solid uh, might give this like a solid uh, eight point five out of ten. I think this is some good stuff. I think it would have gotten higher if some of the uh, exteriors and interiors were a little bit more um, polished. Like there was just more stuff. But 
I mean, this stuff is pretty good. I like I, I like this city look. But, uh, you know, we've seen some interiors that are, like, mind-blowing. And so some of those interiors weren't really too uh, impressive to me. But overall, like, I, I, they got a lot of cool stuff here. Very uh, roleplay heavy, you can tell. Just from, like, all the traits and... Oh, wait, no, where's the uh, Caravan Master? Oops, I, w I went right past him. I forgot what I was doing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. They got crafting. They got this little market here. Seems like there's a pretty, uh... Wait, they, a nearby guard looks you over, but you have no stolen goods. Whoa! They're just randomly checking you? That's crazy. See, I, I like that stuff. Like, there's just random, like, scripting stuff. That just makes you feel like you're in the world more. I, I, I like it. Calmore. The last... Oh, it's 960? And it's 160 seconds? Hollandale? 700. Okay, yeah, we're good. 700. 100 seconds? It's about a minute. So let's, we'll just uh, quickly go through this ride. Oh, this is nice. This will be the last thing that we check. I just want to see a different, uh, you know, city. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is like the elven. Is this like the elven, uh, the elven home? Okay, yeah, this does seem like it's all elven. Oh, and I leveled up again. Wow, guys, they're leveling up. I I'm leveling quick. Just from exploration? Look at this. Yeah, the el Oh my, look at the map. Holy jeez. Yeah, this is like the Elven, yeah, high, Elven High Council. Oh, wow, guys. So I wonder if every city is somewhat different. Is there like a Dwarven city, a Halfling city, a Gnome city? We'll end it there, 8.5 out of 10. Guys, this is some good stuff. I don't know if there's a lot of role players out there that are watching this, but this this feels like a pretty good one. You know, I, I like how the armor has this damage immunity and the helmet. Uh, the traits are The traits are pretty neat. Seems like there's a lot to explore. Leveling up is uh, pretty smooth so far from what I can tell. Some good stuff, guys. 8.5 out of 10. That was World of Tor. We're going to move on to Dark Sun Demo. So I guess uh, seeing Demo, I guess, I guess we have to like temper our expectations. It, maybe it's not a... Uh, like it's kind of like in beta. It's not the full... It's not the full uh, experience that you're going to get. But we'll try it out anyways. Let's try uh, Dark Sun Demo. Okay, right off the bat, look look at this. Look at this, it changed my uh, my interface. Good lord, look at this. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at all of these races. Athasian, do I get to be an Asian? An Ath-Asian? I'm an athlete Asian? Ath-Asian dwarf, Ath-Asian elf? For the elves of Athis running its life. Running is life? If an elf is injured and can't keep up, they are left behind to die. Oh, they're like, they're like stag. They're like deer. All they do is run. Okay, we got the mull. It's a cross between humans and dwarves. Okay, we got Ath-Asian halfling. Ath-Asian half-elf. Half-giant. We got humans. We got Dre. Who is this? Draymond Green, first generation. The Velici. Also known as Italian people. The Velici. Uh, they're human females uh, who are born with Latin psychonic. Oh, psychonic, psionic, Sci psionic powers. Psychonic. How, how did that happen? How did I get out of my mouth? Uh, we got the gith. Yeah, I kind of know what the gith are. The arakakra. That sounds gross. We got a magma genasi, a rain genasi, a silt, a sun, a bagoy. That sounds like some sort of Filipino dish. Some Genasis here, we got Lizard Folk, and Gith Yankee. Jeez, guys. I mean, the UI, the UI change tipped me off. I, I knew it, something special was going to be here. There are some crazy races I've never seen or heard of before. I'm, a, I'm an Asian, so let's be an Asian. I'm an Asian halfling. I'm not that short, but I guess some people will say I am. Here we go. Okay, uh, Warblade. Born for conflict, swift, strong, enduring, and utterly confident. Uh, battle clarity, intelligence to reflex saves, weapon aptitude. You may alter your weapon focus and other weapon specific feats to a weapon of your choice. What? Master alchemist, skull clan hunter, sanctified mind, iron mind, war mind, thrall herd, cerebromancer? Cerebromancer? Psychic Thurge, we got a Shadow Mind, Elementalist, um, is that an, isn't that a show? Isn't that a TV show? Dread Necromancer, 
Foe Hunter, Tempest, Frenzied Berserker, War Sling Sniper, Olem, Combat Medic, Order of the Bow Initiate. Okay, we got a Lasher, we got a Peerless Archer. What the hell is a Peerless Archer? Psychic Warrior, a Scion, a Legendary Dreadnought. Whoa, Bonded Summoner, Psychic Rogue, Ooze Master. Ooze Master? Ooh, zzz. Defiler, Templar, Ranger, Archery. We got Drake, Drake's Child. Into the more common stuff, Preserver. That's new. And Ranger, Two Weapon Fighting. Oh, they got two different Rangers. Archery and Two Weapon Fighting. Wow, guys, that was, that was a journey just saying all those classes. Let's do Gladiator. There's Slave Warriors of the City. Okay, so we're gonna be a slave. Okay, we got some new skills too. We got Balance, Bluff, Climb... Oh no, Bluff's not new. Climb, because they got four... Oh no, they got five crafts. Oh, I didn't see this. Poison Making. Uh, we got... It, what is this? La, y yai, yai Jutsu Focus? Yai Jutsu Focus. What the hell is that? Let me see with the description. I want to see it. Oh, Jump. Jump over pits. Uh, I don't know, is it Gladiator? Am I jumping over pits? Tumble? Sure, I'll put some... Oh, True Speak. Swim, survival, sense motive. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Psycraft. Opa, Gundam style. Okay. Martial lore. Alright, I guess that's all of it. So they got a handful of new stuff. Combat maneuvers. We got combat stance. Allows the use of the bull rush, charge, charging bull rush, overrun, and trip maneuvers. Oh, this is like, this is like 5th edition stuff. Teleport options. Whoa. And I got Weapon Proficiency, Battle Axe, Dart, Falchion, Goad, Great Axe, Great... I can't even hold any of these as a Halfling. We got Drake's Wings, oh man. Drake Heritage, you get to talk like you're from Toronto. Weapon Proficiency, Exotic, Martial, Weapon, and Torch. Oh yeah, yeah, I know this. Yeah, this does feel like 5th edition. I th This might be. Okay, here we go. That took long enough. The Grey, oh my gosh, we're freaking Liam Neeson. Oh, look how many changes there are. Look at the... The UI's changed. Look at the health bar is blue now. What is going on here? There's just a bunch of names that just popped out. Halfling language token acquired. Oh, it's sort of the the default equipment well, with some extra stuff. Structure building tool. Structure building tool. Then open the construction site that was created and select a blueprint to make. You can build stuff? What is happening? What do you guys do? You must be a male with three character levels before I can assist you. Okay. I guess we could just go straight in. Annihil- Anni Annihilus. Annihilus? Oh! I just leveled up! Okay. That was weird. But well, let's, uh, I guess we'll level up. Oh wait, I can't level up! You must be a human orc- Oh man! I have to be a- You must be a human orc Arakakura or Wemmick to take the Furious charge oh no did it did it show on there oh man i didn't even pay attention oh geez and there's a dm here oh i gotta change everything oh man okay we're gonna have to remake our character because i chose furious charge which i don't have you know the prerequisite for i don't i don't i'm not one of the races i don't know why they let me choose it in the first place then i, I feel like that's not my fault they should have just grayed it out so I'm just going to finish talking to this DM and uh, I, I guess we'll just do a different feat. Okay, so we start you off at level 3. I've also been getting these power points. Power point, power point. Power points remaining 2 out of 2. Not totally sure what that means. I guess we can just go straight in. Uh, since you are halfling, these are your choices of a starting location. Oh, tier or Uruk. I guess we'll go to tier. Caravan way, okay. Change the uh, loading bar too. Everything has changed apparently. Captain Rokan. Who's this? Loria the Town Crier. Just shouting stuff. We got Tellar. Okay, Captain. I, I assume you uh, you are important. Oh my gosh, what is this? We're like in the desert. Rokan. Don't cause any trouble while you're here or we'll have to bust you up. Must you shout? What kind of trouble would I cause? You should know the rules already. No magic at all. No fighting in town. No sleeping in the streets. Uh, what can I get a job? Talk to Thrain at the Dracomin station. Just 
to the west of here. Uh, take this map of caravan away with you. Thanks. Oh, look at the look at the compass. This this is so much more confusing. I, I can't even see the ma the compass properly. This just looks. I like the other one better. It, uh, this one's too fancy. You can barely see the letters. Okay, Thrain. Hey, how's it going, man? We got Burzag of Tear. We got Lashy the Sword Hand and Jin the Stout. Oh, they got descriptions. This burly dwarf looks like he may be tough enough to take on the uh, on the dungeons. Oh wait, they're all the same. Thrain, how's it going? I suppose you're here looking for work or information. I can offer you both to a limited degree. We Draco men are the most informed folk in all the city. If you want to find something official or not so official, we're probably the, uh, the ones to talk to you. Uh, what kind of work? Got a number of jobs I need doing. What, uh, what do you think you're up for? Kill task and easy task? Let's do a kill task. We're a gladiator. Let's get some gladiator fights going. Kill a skeletal half giant. Good luck and don't forget to return to me for your reward. I don't even know where... Where's that? Destroy a giant skeleton. We got Jerex here. This hulking individual is Golden Inix's bouncer. How's it going, man? A uh, Matthias. No idea who Matthias is. Uh, King Hamanu of Uruk is ready... Is readying an invasion force against Tier of Mythos. What? What? When? What? When did I ever get that information? Uh, yeah, sure. I as well have received news of Hamanu readying his army. I have heard some rather unfortunate news. A ledger that was being carried here from Uruk was stolen from our courier during a raid somewhere in the region of the Great Spire. The ledger contains detailed information of Hamanu's recent activities. You must find this ledger if we are to have any hope of countering King Hamanu's plans. Find the ledger and return it to me. The fate of a kingdom may uh, well rest in your hands. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to find it. I, like, there's no directions here. Or was this Adventurer's Guild? There's an Adventurer's Guild. Let's see what's in here. Okay, oh, look at these. These are some huge guys. Who the hell are these guys? Dimno the Destroyer, Dimno the Reaver, and Sisri of the Plains. Paragon, uh, this particular Paragon of mine appears to be a female half-giant of a decidedly martial bent. Oh, they're half-giants. Oh my gosh. Look how tiny their head is compared to their body. Oh, I can hire you? Oh, okay. oh, okay. Wow, that was so easy. I'd like you to level up. Oh, wow. Okay, so you can level up companions and you can get companions for free. Uh, can I level you up again? Oh, wow. So they, sc oh, they scale with you. Well, you got to do it manually, but they scale with you. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I guess we'll try the morgue. Because I assume there's skeletons there, so maybe there's a, a skeleton giant, whatever it is. Okay, tell me there's some skeletons here. You got Mort the Undertaker. You got Paul Bear with you. What are you doing here? You want dead to come back later. Oh, I, th I thought I wanted to fight. Oh, this is a nice interior, though. This is kind of nice. Oh, wow, look at this. You got the corpses lying here. I've never seen this kind of tile set before. This, is, this has got to be new. And there's a locked door there. Maybe that's where the undead is. This is pretty nice. Okay, I guess we'll just head out. We'll uh, do some exploring because there's nothing here. Okay, we're in the fields. Man, yeah, the, the desert. Oh, we got a bandit. Uh-oh. Okay. I wish I had uh, my katana. Oh, nice hit. I, I guess we'll try this. Grapple? Let's try grapple. Oh, I failed the grapple. How does a grapple work? 10 versus 26. And anyway, I, got, I got an error there. Okay, can I, can I rest here? Getting sleepy. Oh, so you can't rest. Wait, so can you rest in a non-camping area? Canceled rest. Oh, you may not rest here. Oh, wow. So you gotta, you got you need a bedroll in the campfire, I guess. That's interesting. Combat maneuvers. Is it this bull rush? Oh yeah, we should probably test this bull rush. Okay, bull rush charge. Let's let's go. There's a thing here. Bull rush. You are bull rushing gold scorpion. Oh. Did I just push him f like far back? That was crazy. Not a, not a not a like eye pleasing effect. It was just like a teleport, but I guess that was still pretty cool. Okay, we also got a bandit coming. Okay, let's let's try. Oh wait, okay, hold on. Let's let's bull rush this dude. Oh there! Oh here we go. Oh there! It worked that time. Okay, let's do gladiator oh, gladiatorial performance. Skill increase. I don't know what that does. I clicked it, but nothing's happening. Okay, let's try. Can I do? Oh, I was. 
I was gonna try oh, see how does this I don't even know how this works combat stance oh wait so oh oh here oh oh there okay so you don't use this you use combat stance what a waste okay let's transition overland map 001 oh my gosh what is this why am I so tiny oh oh this is like an actual map that we're oh my gosh this is crazy so this is like the overview of the map and we're like we're we're like traveling through the map who are you oh let's go. oh okay oh geez what is happening here okay there's a giant tick guys this is crazy okay let's keep going no idea where I'm going where are you, where are you guys can I follow you guys oh look at this there's like a, a dinosaur just pulling this wagon wait who are you guys this is crazy and where's this corporal go I, I want to follow you you seem like you uh you have some business look how big his shield is holy geez he's got a door he's got a wooden door as a shield hey wait let, let me come with you can I join you where are you going Jeez, Scrubs Plains again. Erdaloo. It's a giant bird. Holy, what is going on here? Uh, Marshall display? Uh, should, should I just try a whole bunch of different stuff? Marshall display. Yes. What does that do? We're also getting very far from any sort of, like, landmark. I don't even know, like, what. I, I We haven't found anything here. Nothing is showing up. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we, we are running out of time, so uh, I'm just trying to... Let's just keep exploring. This map looks so funky. I have never seen anything like this. The Iron Mines. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess we could check out the Iron Mines. I'm now just realizing I forgot to die in the first server. So, uh, maybe we'll die here. Man, that overland travel is really unique. That That's pretty interesting. I have no idea how to score this, honestly. Like... The amount of like custom content on here is crazy. I think this was also like 10 gigs to download. And the other one was only maybe like 4 gigs or so. So like there is a lot of stuff you gotta download. But look at that. Like, everything here is like so new. Like th none of this stuff is in Neverwinter Nights. This is all like custom stuff it seems like. I might give this like a, I don't know, 8 out of 10? J just from the classes and the races alone. Interiors are not that great, no, nothing's really decorated, but like the the first time you experience the server, I feel like it's like, wow, like your mind is blown. There's some crazy unique stuff here. Beggar, we got some workers here, okay. Uh, I guess we can head on inside. Is there like any combat here? I, I want to die. Let's just see what's here. Please tell me there's some enemies here. I just want to die. Salt method. Oh, very difficult. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, not exactly our level. Can't grapple salt method. Probably makes sense. Getting a henchman is pretty clutch. You get a free henchman that is a giant? Yeah. I'll take that all day. I also can't hurt this thing. Probably a good time to, uh, test the, uh, death process. Here we go. We got Dimnil is dying. His fallen end is dying. Oh, they're dead dead. I got 36 ceramic pieces. Okay. Let's see how this death process works. We're at 1 gold. I mean 1 HP. 1 gold. 1 HP. Now we're dead. Asking for water. Power points I lost. An earth method is hurling rocks at my dead body. Okay. Please uh, wait for help or... Uh, uh, what? Wait for help from another player or choose an option below. Respawn will occur an XP and ceramic penalty. Okay, what's this penalty at? Back at the hospital. 150 XP. Uh, that's not. I mean, that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty low, I think. Well, what? How much XP was I getting? I was getting 400 XP from the bandit, and I lost 150. So really doable. This guy doesn't even have a head. Kaji. Oh, it's probably. Oh, here we go. All right. All right. I think we can end it there. How much time? I think we're past the time limit. All right. We'll end it there. Eight out of ten, guys. I mean. The, the custom content on this stuff is pretty crazy. That was a Dark Sun demo, NWN Dark Sun, and World of Tor, two NW Sync servers. I still have the 
the Dark Sun demo UI kind of, like this, the, the uh, scroll bar. Pretty crazy stuff. A lot of uh, custom content there, a lot of custom races and classes. That was pretty fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace out you nerds.